Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We give you the glory and the praise because you are our Father and you've given us the right of access to your presence. We thank you, Father, because the death of Jesus has paved the way. We thank you, Father God, because you're a miracle working God. You are a prayer answering God. Said we should call upon you in the days of trouble. You will answer us and we will glorify you. Thank you for this precious moment. Lord, as we have gathered from every nation of the earth, we thank you because of the privilege that we do have to fellowship with you. We ask that you will stretch your hands over every one of us. We we'll pray that you will touch us in a very unique way. Thank you for the healings and the miracles you've been performing in the last few days. Thank you for what you've done over the last 530 days. We we'll give you the glory and the praise. Thank you for what you will do today. Thank you, Father, because we have no doubt. We are like children who are very confident of who their father is. We know what you are capable of. We know what you are capable of. We know how faithful you are. We know how majestic you are. We know how glorious you are. We know that you always come right at the nick of time. We know that you never come late. We thank you because our God and our Father, you are the mountain moving God. You are the obstacle crushing God. The Bible says that your presence mountains, they do melt. The Bible says that the mountains skip like rams and the hills, they skip like lambs and the Red Sea is divided and Jordan's pulls back. Lord, we thank you because of the mightiness of your power. Glory and praise be to your holy name. Thank you for what you will do here today. We're giving the glory and the praise. Thank you for gathering us from across the nations of the earth. Let your name forever be praised. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. And amen. You know, before we get started, I just want you to know something. Today is going to be a very unique day. I am very, very optimistic of what God is about to do in our lives. So if you have any family member that is trusting God for conception, you have any family member who is trusting God for healing in their body, you have any man who is believing God for a breakthrough in his life, a man who you know is really working so very hard, struggling, and it seems like life has not been favorable towards him. You have a brother, you have a son, you have somebody who is uh, your fiance, or whatever the case may be, any man in your life would like you to invite them on board now. Enough of you carrying them. It's time for God to strengthen them. In the name of Jesus Christ. And it's amazing to know, sir, that we have, as at yesterday, PPH is being watched across 79 countries of the world. 79 countries of the world. I was staggered when I got that statistic yesterday. That we are being watched from 79 countries of the world. As we're speaking right now, we have a satellite broadcast going on to 40 different countries. And 30 minutes after this broadcast, there will be another satellite broadcast to over 25 countries. We are just so humbled and we count it a great privilege and honor. We never knew God would bring us this far. We never even saw this. It was just supposed to be for five days and for few people. But we are grateful to our Father from across the nations of the world. I never know some of the countries. I'm just getting to find some countries' names. You know, from across the islands, the Belize Island. People are watching from uh, St. Lucia. Yeah, St. Lucia or something like that. St. Kitts. Yes, yeah, St. Kitts and Clements. Way off in the, in the islands, you know, Bahamas and Jamaica. People are watching from Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago. We just want to give God the praise from different African countries. We give him the glory and the praise. And for every country where people are watching from, our God is touching lives there. <laughs> so he has not allowed us to gather to him in vain. Oh, come on, PP tribe, everybody across the nation. Ain't you proud to be a part of a global tribe? 
why don't you just begin to say thank you Jesus oh, really I wanted to open your mouth and, and the Bible said let everything that has breath begin to praise the name of the Lord our God what was supposed to be for a little community in Guarimpa is feeding 79 countries of the world and counting more because we're going to more nations of the earth ah now I understand that this glory of the Lord will cover the earth it will cover the earth it will cover the earth it will cover the earth until we have people from every nation of the earth watching and glorifying God open your mouth and begin to bless our father he deserves the glory he deserves the praise he deserves the adoration open your mouth and tell him how great he is how great is my God sing with me how great is my God Sing with me, how great is my God. Just open your mouth and glorify him. He deserves our worship. There is none to be compared with our God. He is the strength of our lives. In him we live, in him we move, in him we have our being. He is the monarch of the universe. The Bible says the heavens are his throne and the earth is his footstool. The Bible says he stretched the heavens like a cotton. My God will give you the glory. He is called the God of Jeshurun who rides upon the wings of the heavens for our help. Uh, Lord, we thank you, our Father. Before we ask you for anything, we want to thank you for everything. Before we ask you for an open door, we want to thank you for closed doors. Before we ask you to open another door, we thank you for the ones you've opened before. We are grateful to you, our Father. We are the ones who have come back to say thank you. We are the ones you have shown mercy. We are the ones you have shown kindness. We are the ones you have lavish grace upon. Lord, who are we to ever make a demand before we say thank you? Lord, some of us never knew you would bring us this far. Some of us never saw this kind of day. But we give you the glory and the praise. We thank you for what you are doing in our lives. We thank you for what you are doing in our families. You have taken us as singles. You have put us in families. We used to be solitary, but you put us in families. We used to be despised, but now we are honored. We used to be broke, but now we are blessed. We used to be beggarly, but Lord, now we are confident. We used to go a borrowing and a sorrowing, but now we are lending to nations. Lord, we thank you. If the Lord has been good to you, you cannot be casual with your thanksgiving and be aggressive with your prayer. Let your thanksgiving be full of gratitude. Let there be passion in your praise. Let there be a strong sense of passion in your praise. A strong sense of gratitude in your thanksgiving. Open your mouth and thank him for where he has brought you to. Look back at what you survived. If not for the Lord who was on your side, you will not be where you are today. Lift up your voice and thank him. You can't do that under a duvet. Stand out of your bed and just praise your father. You can't be casual with your thanksgiving. If you will praise me, I hear the Lord say, the earth will yield an increase unto you. Stand upon Rabo Who would have ever thought that your ministry will be where it is? Can't you see how God has been good to you? Not many mighty, not many nobles, but God has chosen even you the foolish things of this world uh, to confound the wise and the mighty. Open your mouth and say, Father, I am grateful. My God, uh, how much have I provided compared to all you are doing? My God, I am grateful. My Father, I'm thankful. You've 
turn my life around, uh, turn my story around, uh, took me from the miry clay, set me upon a rock to stay. I give you the glory, my Father. You took me from following the sheep, uh, and you made me a leader to your people. I give you the glory and the praise. Uh, if not for you, where will I be? If not for your mercy, where will I be? You broke the chains of darkness. You stripped me of every covering of shame. You took away from me the coverings of darkness. You took reproach from my life. I give you the glory and the praise. When men said to me there was a casting down, you empowered me to say there's a lifting up. I am grateful to you, my Father. You bring the cloud over me by day and the pillar of fire by night. You have been the one who paved the way for me through the red seas of my life. You've been the one who broke Jordan for me. You pulled down Jericho walls for me. I give you the glory and the praise. Where I had no might, you became my might. Where I had no voice, you became my voice. Where I couldn't fight, you fought for me, God. My God, when the voices of men were loud and against me, you shut them down. I give you the praise and the glory. When the nobles, when the mighty men of this earth came together in alliance to swallow me up, you forbade them. You stopped the mouth of lions. You quenched the fiery furnace of fire. You became my insulator. What a mighty God you are. Somebody lift your voice. Oh my God. Kai, I feel like blessing you, my brother. Woo! something is breaking loose inside here is there any grateful person in the house lift your voice and praise them look back look back and give thanks come to far pita la susta he shall pick a nose a day libra to fratesi the Bible says thanksgiving will flow out of your windows. Yes. A laughter shall flow out of your doors. And the Lord said he will multiply you. Begin to give him thanks. Begin to give him praise. Somebody begin to tell your father who he is. Type and declare who is your God. Type and declare how great is your God. Type and declare how mighty your God is. Rock a mighty fortress. The everlasting God. The strength of Israel. Source and sustainer. Pathfinder, trailblazer. Base setting God, trend setting God. Uh, would you give him the glory? The one who opened the doors. Uh, and there is no door he can't open because he can become the door. For he is the door himself. Uh, would you go ahead and give him praise? Everlasting God, uh, eternal God, uh, infallible God, uh, inherent God, uh, mighty God. Shati Kupande Negoski, merciful God, faithful God, just God, glorious God. Open your mouths and praise Him. I sense His presence. The presence of God is strong here. The sick is being healed as I'm praising God. Torpena Kutela Susta, Shati Baruziata, Hertofika Tansalaga, Lizopon Kretosia. Somebody say, My God is bigger than what people say. In Jesus' name, we have praise Him. Woo. Listen to me. If we are to continue to praise Him, now we know why David was praised God seven times a day. Seven times is not enough. Seven times a day, David will stop and praise God because there is power in praise. There is power in praise. Do I have 70 people here who are watching right now? And you are like me. And as you look around you, 
you're almost pinching yourself. Is it true that God has brought me here? Is it true that God has given me this rank? Is it true that I'm in this office? Is it true? Is it true? You look around you, for you know this race was not for the mighty, otherwise you will not be here. You know this race was not for the swift, otherwise you will not be considered. You know this race was not about where you schooled, because nobody would have looked at your certificate, but mercy, mercy, the grace of God. If there is a recipient of grace, uh, you look back at where God has brought you from. Yes. Hello, woman of God. I'm speaking to a woman watching me right now. Listen, you've not always been this big woman. Uh, you came from a struggling background. Uh, look at how God has twisted you around. Uh, turn your life around. Uh, humble yourself in gratitude. Uh, lift your hands in praise. Uh, let him know he is your maker. Let him know he is your lifter. Say to the devil, no room for pride. Say to the devil, no room for arrogance. God lifted me. God blessed me. God honored me. God turned my life around. God opened the door. Testify. Shadima Kondera, something is happening here. Shadima Kokita, Lemaroshi Katen de Maroshitalia, Hashati Kalatosiata, Hanta Baroshes. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen to how David put his own thanksgiving. David, by the Spirit of God, when the man looked at himself, David, David said, I know me. Is it, was it not I? that was not qualified to appear in family meeting. You didn't get what I'm just saying, sir. Yes, sir. David was saying me. I was not qualified. My own family meeting, when family members were meeting, I was not considered worthy to appear in family meetings. He said, look at me now. I'm the one sitting in a palace. I'm now the one being attended to by men. I'm now the one that people are willing to die for. I'm now the one that rides on chariots, driving some of the best cars. I'm now the one traveling first class. I'm now the one choosing which car to use. I'm now the one deciding which house to live in, what country to go on for vacation. I'm talking about you. You know what David said? He said, Lord, it's not me. He said, no, 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 no. He said, you are the one. You are Jehovah El Goma. Yeah. You are the God who is making these things happen. He said it can't be from me. You are the God who is making things happen. You are the one who is demonstrating your power. Somebody open your mouth and thank you. And say, my father, my father. You are Jehovah El Goma. You are the God making things happen. You are the God who is making things happen in my life. Lift your voice in thanksgiving. You are the God who is making all these things happen. Walk around your room. The house, you made it happen. The car, you made it happen. The job, you make it have made it happen. My children, you made them happen. The career I have, you made it happen. Good health, you made it happen. Lift your voice and give them praise. Pesheten de le kushiata, ratomon kasila tushata, libaron de siki la kushiata, shanaman de radaski la montia, hanin de makosi kadesto rabasha. Please begin to invite your family and friends now. Lato brando sikatasia, shadaman de le kushiata, librando preketa ni andosa, shila monte par poto sikatia, hante par kuferi andosa, hakante par peni in Jesus name we pray now somebody is afraid my pastor somebody is watching me now and because of the way God is doing some things in your life now you are even afraid to share it you are afraid to talk in fact you are so afraid that nobody even you are keeping things so much under wraps now there's nothing wrong with being a modest but what i see about what's going on with you is that you're not modest you are afraid <laughs> 
you you have seen how they brought down so many high flyers and you have a genuine reason to be afraid but right here genuine ends Amen. i want to speak to you in the name of jesus by the word of the lord the lord said i should tell you fear not because from today put your hand on your head if you can get your mantle quickly put it on your head i speak the blessing over you and i decree and declare that from today no magic spell can bind you again no magic spell will bind you again no incantation will be placed on you you are beyond magic spells beyond incantations Amen. can i say it again with the mantle on your head get your handkerchief right now get any piece of material get your anointing oil if you don't have a piece of material open up the oil anoint yourself as i speak in the name of jesus from today as you begin to rise you will continue to rise no magic spell will be laid on you let me put it how Jesus put it. Jesus said you will drink deadly things. It's just that they will not hurt you. Yes, sir. Hear me and hear me well. If they put it in your drink, it will not hurt you. If they cast a spell on you, it will bounce back. Because you are blessed beyond the curse. You are blessed, blessed beyond the spell. With your hand upon you now and the mantle of your life, I bless you beyond the spell. No spell will be fastened on you. No incantation will take hold on you. Magic spells won't bind you. You are oiled up. You, you can't bind an oiled man. A zebra tar. Somebody did hear me. <laughs> Listen, when we were growing up, we used to do wrestling. And some of us developed some tricks. When we don't want somebody to beat us. But God, when you know you have a bad opponent. <laughs> when you know you have somebody who is stronger than you. You know what we do? We come with oil. So normally we fight without shirts. So we oil ourselves. So when the strong man wants to hold us, he can't hold us because we are oiled up. I have seen a new game they call oil fight where everybody will be dipped in oil and then they will have to fight. How do you hold a man that is oiled? How do you hold a woman that has been oiled? No wonder David said, my head, yes. you have anointed with fresh oil. Yes. No wonder the enemy couldn't hold me. Ah. They couldn't force me down. Yes. Couldn't tie me down. Yes. Because I've been oiled up. Yes. Listen, put your right hand on your head. As I speak in the name of Jesus, yes. I decree and declare yes. that you are oiled by God. Amen. From today, magic spells will not have a grab on grasp on you. Amen. From today, incantations will not be fastened on you. Amen. I decree you are oiled by God. Amen. You are oiled by God. Amen. You can't be strangled. Amen. You can't be handled. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. no magic spell Amen. can bind you. No incantation Amen. will hold you back. Amen. You have begun to rise. Amen. You will never stop rising. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody type and declare, I am oiled up. Because you are oiled up. I am hearing no more failure. Everything you do will succeed. Everything you do will succeed. The oil is the presence of God. And from today, because the presence of the Lord is with you, everything you do will succeed. I don't know what I'm praying for. Leah, everything you do will succeed. 
for Menke, everything you do will succeed. La Bella, everything you do will succeed. You carry oil. You carry the presence of God from today. According to Genesis 29 verse 2, NLC version, the Lord was with Joseph. Another way to put it. The Lord oiled up Joseph. And everything he did succeeded. Yes. Everything he did was successful. Yes. He succeeded in everything. Yes. Put your hand upon yourself. Yes. From today, you will succeed in everything. Yes. Where you failed before, yes. you are going to put the record straight. Yes. You are not a failure. Yes. You are going back yes. to succeed. Yes. You will succeed in style. Yes. You will succeed with class. Yes. You will succeed with honor. Amen. I decree and I declare where you failed in business, you will go back and succeed. Amen. Where you failed in career, yes. you will go back and succeed. Amen. Where you failed in relationship, you will go back and succeed. Amen. Somebody type and declare no more failure. I am too anointed to fail. No more failure. I am too anointed to fail. I will succeed in everything I do. Niporus Katesia, Lesofatikanande, Lepretekaska. I reprogram your life. I reprogram you for success. I reprogram you for success. I re engineer your destiny for success. I reprogram your destiny for success. I reroute your path for success. From today, you've been walking in the path of failure. Today, we renavigate your path. We reroute your destiny. Begin to succeed. Begin to excel. We reposition you to succeed. I'm speaking into your destiny. Whatever went wrong in your foundation, whatever went wrong in your mother's womb, whatever went wrong when you were growing up, we have come by the help of the heavens. And I decree by the speaking of the spirit that from today, your destiny is rerouted. Whosoever's put you on the path of failure, I change your route. Amen. Whosoever's put you on the track of failure, I change your track. Whosoever's put you on the lane of failure, I change your lane. From today, heaven repositions you. Heaven repositions you. Put your hand on your head and let it come to your life. From today, you will not fail again in relationship. You will not fail in business. You will not fail in ministry. You will not fail in investment. In the name of Jesus, your path is rerouted. Your destiny is rearranged. Your path is rerouted. Your destiny is rearranged. We renavigate your path. Amen. We re engineer your life. Amen. We reposition you for visibility. Amen. From yeah. today, whatever has covered you, cease to cover you. Amen. I'm, pray, I'm, I'm seeing myself in somebody's room and I'm praying over a man. I'm praying over a woman and I can see your spirit is connected. Your destiny is taking a shift. There is a switch taking place. I speak to the cloud of failure over your life. I command the cloud shift. I command the cloud of failure shift. Whatever has caused the rain of failure to be falling on your life from today, the cloud that produces the rain shift now. No more over your life. No more over your life. No more failure at the edge of success. In the name of Jesus, you will succeed in everything you do. You will succeed in everything you do. La Pony, you will succeed. Mr. Matt, you will succeed. Abigail, you will succeed in everything you do. In everything you do. In everything you do. 
receive such a grace now. I speak over the men watching me. All our men, please stretch your right hand towards me. In the name of Jesus, man of God, I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless you by the blessing of the presbytery. I bless you by the apostolic and the prophetic. I bless you by the call of God on my life. I bless you with the blessing with which my fathers are blessed. And I say to you, sir, your destiny takes a new leap from today. Sir, where you've been walking, you will start running. I said something fell on you as I speak. The power of God fell on you as I speak. Where you've been walking, you will start running. Let every woman call the men in your life. Call them in now. Hello, sir, stretch that hand. In the name of Jesus, from today, sir. Hello, man of God. Hello, businessman. Hello, career man. Aduvrato miskato. Little men cast of failure, sister. Edebrato frinantos. Keltibar to frinantos katesia. Sir. Statopi, Catusia Lanto Prestata, Ertomia, Kelto Frantos Catesia, Il Matofria, Telocustasia, Eltomil Kento Vir Batu Salicia, Ertado, Ticata, Mesuvra Ticatea, Il Mutica Susi Pratevia, El Ticatu, His Patale Tuscataria, Pretomin Satecus Paliato Mesca, Etipa, Lessosi Catusia, Have I not had a shall I not say? That from today, whosoever programmed you to be walking where you are supposed to be running, and we are not seeking, am I not hearing? Shall I not declare that from today, he who programmed you, that which programmed your life to be on a slow motion, I hear the Lord saying from today. Yes. I alter that which has altered your life. And I hear the Lord saying from this moment, you will mount up with wings as eagles. I hear the Lord saying you will begin to run like you've never run before. I hear the Lord saying speed, speed, speed. The wind is behind you now. The wind is behind you now. You shall be wind assisted. You shall be faithful assisted. You shall be grace assisted. You shall be men assisted. Where you are trekked and trailed behind. I hear the Lord say you are overtaken. There is an overtaking grace. In the name of Jesus. Your lost years shall be recovered, sir. Your lost years shall be recovered. Sir. The years you have lost because of gang up, misfortune, because of losses. The years you have lost because of the things that happened to you. I hear the Lord say, you shall recover all in a moment. The former rain and the latter rain coming upon you in one season. Can I hear some men type right now? I will succeed in everything I do. Let every woman watch it, type and declare, I will succeed in everything I do. Let a generous person tag the name, tag the name of three people. As you put their name, you will say, Sam Oye, you will succeed in everything you do. Please tag the name of three people. Shakatea, Heteman Kateria. Liso Prato Fracatis, Henda Barus Catea, Handebal to Velacasta, Shanamante Catus Canas, Hiraton de Gatas de Cata, Hashati Balan de Garostia, Letoman Catele Gesto. Jesus, we give you the glory. He pranto parketa diandos. He non regatosi catesa. Hatan de la Cusi Catesia, Handa Balacusia, Mastete Biandosia. Shananan de Would you go ahead and pray, pray, Pastor Shag over that? 
is a result of what you can see. My but God. as you said it, there was a change. The veil was taken was, away. It was taken away. And I saw him running for the first My time. God. My God. My God. Every man watching right now, type and declare, I'm moving with the speed of the Spirit. You are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. Every man watching me, you are unstoppable. Radia commendalia sosa prita. Lijo mangatelia supredia. Liko mendera suse pratesia. Hendadi katuzala. Eshate mandeka. Meikari, you are moving with the speed of God. Bernice, you are moving with the speed of God. Augustine, Mr. Augustine. I bless you with speed. Amen. I bless you with speed. A good frate mascatia, Mr. Success. I bless you with speed. I bless you with speed. Mr. Joseph, I bless you with speed. Mr. Nathan, I bless you with speed. You will finish that project. Every man having a project. Liga to Gata. If you are a man and you are having a project, or you are a woman and you have a brother who is having a project right now, it's time. This project that I've been stalling and strolling and, 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 and wobbling and fumbling and all in the name of Jesus. Everyone with a project, can you put your hand on the screen? Make sure you have your handkerchief with you. In the name of Jesus, you will take that handkerchief, a symbol of God's presence. You will take it to your project site and you will lay it on the project site and you will declare speed. Did you hear what I just said right now? You will get to your project site and you will carry this, lay it on that site and say, I command speed. I command resources. I command assistance. Now, now hold it in your hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare supernatural speed. Every man watching me, I decree from today supernatural speed. You will finish this project in record time. As God has done it for others when I pray like this, it's your turn to testify. Amen. Where money will come from, you will be shocked. Amen. Where help will come from, you will be shocked. Amen. There's a man watching me, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I tell you, sir? Somebody is about to bless you with a contract. Let me tell you what I see. You carry the contract paper, and this is what you did. Ha! You open your mouth. You open your mouth because not only will the contract take care of the project, the contract will leave you with excess. If you are the one and you know I'm speaking over you now, in the name of Jesus, there's a woman watching and she said, Pastor, I received it from my husband. It put your hands on the screen, my God. That is why husband and wife, brothers and sisters, you can't miss tomorrow. Family breakthrough day is our day for the family tomorrow. Don't miss it. Bright and early. Join early in the morning tomorrow. It's family day tomorrow. And you know I can be crazy about family. Yes. Because if family is where, the nation will be all right. Oh, yes. Put your hands on the screen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every man and the woman connected to them who have a project that requires heaven's assistance. I decree and I declare right now yes. that heavenly resources yeah. be transferred in your direction. Amen. That the God of heaven yeah. begin to move men and resources in your direction. Amen. You will never lack what you need. Amen. You will have more than enough. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. receive more than enough. Amen. 
receive more than enough. And not yet. Please, we've forgotten to share the video. I'm just, I'm just reminded. We forgot to listen. In only 60 seconds, I'm about to pray some prayer for you right, over you right now. In the name of Jesus, we've not even gotten to the heart of our prayer for today. In the name of Jesus Christ. But but let me say before I, before I ask you to share, please before you share, don't share yet. I want to pray this way in a hurry. There is somebody. In fact, that listen to me. I saw a picture of people who are drowning, drowning, and I can see. Listen, I don't know how to swim. But on a very jovial note, I know how to walk inside water. But I can't swim. So you don't want to throw me into an ocean. I, I won't survive it. You understand that? So God will never let me go that direction. Now hear me and hear me well. I see people like they are drowning. Pastor Shekou, I'm telling you this is a picture I'm seeing. I'm seeing people inside the water. And, and, and people are, as they go inside, they come out and try to. And it, it's obvious that they can't survive this. But in the same in the same way I see them I see this like helicopter coming and I see I see quite a number of these helicopters coming across the face of the ocean where the people are gathered where people are drowning and I see these helicopters releasing things like ladders and I see people taking a hold of the ladder taking a hold of the ladder pulling them to safety and I, and I said Lord what is this he said tell my children I am reaching down. Oh, yeah, yeah. I am reaching down yeah, now amen. to rescue you. Amen. The Lord said, I should tell you, you will not drown. Amen. I am drawing you out of it now. Amen. I am drawing you out of death amen. now. Amen. I am drawing you out of shame amen. now. Amen. I'm drawing you out of disgrace amen. now. He said, I should tell you from 2 Samuel 22, verse 17, NLT. He said, I should tell you, tell my daughter, tell my sons, I have come to rescue you. You will not drown anymore. Drowning is over. You are coming out clean and clear. You are coming out to safety. You are coming out to surplus. You are coming out to abundance. I hear the Lord say, you are coming out. Somebody reach your hands up and say, Father, say, rescue me. Pull me out of this. Pull me out of this. Please cry to him. Say, my father, my father, pull me out of this. Tunchi, he's pulling you out. Tonya, he's pulling you out of it. Nancy, he's pulling you out of anything you are drowning in. Any behavior, any lifestyle, any condition, any situation, my father is pulling you out of it all. Would you please take the next few seconds? Just go ahead and share the video now. Listen, as you said, can I pray for you? As you send help to somebody now, the presence of God will bring help. You know this video will help somebody. As you send help to others, may the Lord send help to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you use your platform and your influence, your connections, as you use that to bring life and joy to others, may the Lord increase your influence. May, may the number you are sharing to now, yeah. may they multiply in your life. Yeah. May you have greater influence than your current influence. Yeah. As you share, yeah. may the Lord enlarge your coast. Yeah. As you use your platform for kingdom purpose, yeah. may the Lord strengthen your platform and extend it. Yeah. May you go beyond the walls. Yeah. May you reach God. to the nations. Yeah. God bless you as you share now. Everybody on YouTube, go ahead and share. And as you are sharing, Open your mouth and be declaring, I am rescued. I'm not drowning. I am rescued. I'm not drowning. Get ready. I'm about to pray for the sick in the name of Jesus. I'm hearing clearly in my spirit. You are being rescued from confusion. Somebody with confusion is being rescued. As we are sharing, the Lord is saying confusion just left you. Depression just left you. You just got delivered from frustration. Amen. You just got delivered from addiction. Amen. You just got delivered from oppression. Amen. You just got rescued from stagnation. Amen. You just got rescued from negative emotions. Amen. You just got rescued from long-term bitterness. Amen. Hey. 
there's somebody watching me, the Lord is saying, let go of bitterness, Come please. On, on. Let it go. Oh. Ah. Let it go. Ah. The Lord said, you cannot be bitter and get better. In Nakutaya, the reason your life is not been better with oh. all the prayer, the Lord said, you are holding on to bitterness. Let it go, Mama. Let it go, Daddy. Let it go. Hello, sir. Your wife offended you. Let it go. As Christ forgive you, let it go. What you are losing is more than what you are holding on to. Prayer cannot be answered when bitterness is still in the heart. Let it go. She did it. Forgive her, Madam. He did it. Forgive him. Let go of bitterness. If the Lord was to mark iniquity, none of us will stand. Yes, sir. You are not perfect. Why are you holding on to somebody to be perfect? Oh. Why are you placing a demand on hey. a man that you can't place on yourself? Uh -huh. hey. I see the Lord. I know you can't come out by yourself. Uh -huh. So the Lord is saying, can I help you? Yes. The Lord is rescuing you as you say, Lord, I release it. Ooh. I surrender. Yes. No more bitterness. Hey. The Lord, long time unforgiveness. Let the unforgiveness go. Amen. Feeling of abandonment. Yes. Chronic Amen. addiction. Amen. Suicidal thoughts. Amen. You're feeling like you want to die. Chronic fear. The Lord rescue you. Amen. The Lord rescue you. Amen. Right now you are rescued. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I announce it again? He said I should remind you that you have entered into the season of wonders without numbers. Yes. I feel like dancing, I tell you. Yes. You have entered the season of wonders without numbers. Amen. Wonders without numbers. Amen. Somebody type and declare wonders without numbers. You've entered the season Amen. of wonders without numbers. Amen. From today, let me tell you what the Lord is saying. From today, the Lord said, one task will no longer be happening once a while in your life. I hear the Lord is saying, I should tell you, from this moment, favor will not be a thing that happened once in a quarter. According to his word in Amos 9.13, the Lord said, one thing will be happening fast on the hills of another. One thing on the hill of another. Amen. One favor on another favor. Amen. Who am I praying for? Who am I praying for? Hold your mantle in your hand and say, Lord, I receive it. Say, I receive wonders without numbers. It's my season. Declare it over yourself. Walk around your room. It's my season of wonders without numbers. Miracles that cannot be numbered. The plow man overtaking the river. Lord, money will meet money in my hand. Favor will meet your favor. No more scarcity. Wonders without numbers. No more financial embarrassment. No more financial embarrassment. Wonders without numbers. No more sickness and affliction. Wonders without numbers. Rapato Vigadesa. Let up be counter a gasisiate. Pastor Sheku. Yes, sir. You know, somebody is thinking wonders without numbers is a motivational speech. <laughs> it's not a motivational speech, yes. it is the word of God. So let me show it to you. I'm sure Jibola will do a good job. He will put it on the screen for you. Listen carefully to this. Job chapter 5 verse 8. Job chapter 5 verse 9. He said he is the one who does great and unsearchable wonders without numbers. He does great and unsearchable things. Wonders without numbers. NIV put it this way. He said he is the one who does miracles that cannot be counted. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I feel like praying for all of you by your names. Edit, I'm praying for the men today, today. And I'm blessing the women too. 
every man watching me, sir. Man of God, let's join our faith together, sir. Daddy, let us join. My brother, let's join our hands together. My son in the Lord. My brothers in the Lord. My younger ones in the Lord. Every man watching me. If you have the picture of a man in your life, put it there. I speak over you in the name of Jesus. Enter into your season of wonders without numbers. Did I just bless you right now? There's, I, I'm almost blessing you with the blessing of a family prayer. As I will stay with you today. Tomorrow, don't miss it. Don't miss tomorrow. Can I pray for you now? In the name of Jesus, from today, as you take this communion with me, as you partake of the body of Jesus today, I decree and I declare yes. you've entered the season of wonders without numbers. Hey. Oh. From today, you will begin to have miracles that cannot be counted. Amen. As one thing is happening, another one will be following. Amen. As one door is opening, another door will open. Amen. As one job is coming, yes. another job will be coming. Amen. From promotion to promotion. Amen. From peak to peak, Amen. no more valley life, Amen. no more peak Whoa. to valley, Amen. no more peak to valley. Amen. From peak to peak, Amen. from peak to peak, Amen. who am I praying for? From peak to peak, Amen. receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every woman watching me now, declare it over yourself. Say, I receive the mantle, the mantle of wonders without numbers. I will go from peak to peak, from peak to peak, so shall it be your life. Amen. Pastor, I can't run from this. I need to declare this over everybody, not man, as we partake of this communion. Let me announce this to you. Please, don't miss this. I know some of you are on your knees. Is that okay? I can see some men in our place here in the studio. They are on their knees right here in the studio. Now listen, because we're not, this is not a show. There's fire burning in my spirit. Listen carefully to what the Holy Spirit is showing you right now. The Lord said to me, said, son, can you see something about Daniel? That when he prayed, I sent an angel to come and deliver a message to him. He said, but the angel was stopped from reaching him for 20 solid days. That means for 20 solid days, the helper of Daniel was delayed because the angel was to come and make him understand wisdom. The angel was to come and help him gain insight. The angel that was to come and help him was hindered. Paul the apostle, he said once and again, I wanted to come to you that I may help you so you can be established. I wanted to bring you some things that will make your life better than what it is. Paul said, I don't know why. If it is to go to some other places, to go and do some other things, nothing stops me. But why is it that when I want to come to you and I want to come and get you established, something always stops me. Somebody knows what I'm talking about here. If your brother is not online, I don't know what you are doing to them. Today, tomorrow, you can't miss it. You can't miss it. Listen carefully. Paul the apostle, a man that prays and fasts always, he said, I wanted to come and help Shegu. I wanted to help come and help Sam. He said, but Satan himself left all of his job and stood right there and said, you will not help this one. Yeah. Yeah. Satan. Satan blocked, another one for him that he blocked him. He thwarted the move. I want to pray for you. Now, are you ready? In the name that is above every other name. Even for the name of Jesus. As Jesus the resurrected Christ. Could not be hindered. Yes. From coming out of the grave. Yes. As you partake of this communion yes. today. No more shall the helpers of your destiny be hindered. Amen. From today. Your helpers will not be hindered. Amen. The helpers of your destiny, they shall not be hindered. Amen. Those who are sent to you hey. shall not be kept from reaching Amen. you. Your destiny helpers will locate you. Amen. Your destiny helpers Amen. will introduce you. Amen. Your destiny
destiny help us will fund your dream. Amen. Your destiny help us will lift you. Amen. Your destiny help us will open doors for you. Your destiny help us will change your life. Amen. From today, I decree, your destiny help us shall not be hindered. Amen. I speak over your request. In the name of Jesus, I bless the handkerchiefs with you. In the name of Jesus, you carry this mantle, which is just a means by which the presence of God moves in your life. I decree and I declare that from today, you remain unhindered. You are not hindered. Amen. Your gates are not closed. Amen. Your helpers will find you. Amen. Your helpers will not be manipulated out of your life. Amen. Listen carefully. I want to pray that prayer again. Ahitophel. When I saw it, I screamed. Ahitophel was sent to help David. But the Bible makes us understand that the son of David, somebody close to David, manipulated Ahitophel out of the life of David. Let me tell you the consequence. But the person who manipulated Ahitophel and Ahitophel himself, that's a problem. Meaning Ahitophel was sent to help David, but was to be preserved by helping David. That is too much a mystery for you to understand. When, you, when God sends you to somebody to bless the person, to be a, a, a helper to the person, God also has put a grace on the person to also do something in your life. By helping David, Ahitophel, Ahitophel was to be protected. But Ahitophel went to uh, meet with, what's his name now? Absalom. And when he went by manipulation, that terminated the life of Absalom, the son of David, and that brought disgrace. For the first time in the life of Ahitophel, he found himself in a big disgrace. Your helpers will not be manipulated out of your life. Who did I just pray for? Your helpers will not be manipulated out of your life. Who so far is using words to manipulate your helpers? I pray that they repent in a hurry. Otherwise, their tongue will cleave to the roof of their mouths. As you partake of this communion, even as Jesus was not hindered, so shall you not be hindered. Sickness will no longer hinder you. Affliction will not hinder you. I command that disease to leave your body now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, be disease free now. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We're right on the time. Let's take our communion right now. My God, wish we could spend more time in prayer. I beg you, 5.50 a.m. West African time tomorrow. Make sure you get all your family members on this platform. It will be our covenant day of prayer for family and friends. Make sure you get everybody connected to you family members, get them on board and the God of heaven will do us great good in Jesus mighty name are you ready to take this communion now Father I speak the blessing over this body of yours which is broken for us, your body was battered so that our body can be made better your blood was shed so that our life can be enriched you have come that we may have life and have it more abundantly and enjoy it to the overflow that everyone who has not been enjoying what life you have brought to us, let such a person today begin to tap into it. In the name of Jesus Christ. And if there be anyone who has not given his life to Christ or someone who has left the Lord, can I ask you to say, Dear Lord Jesus, I recognize that I'm a sinner. I'm backslidden. But right now, with my heart, I believe that Jesus died. And with my mouth, I confess that he's risen again and is my Lord and Savior. Amen. Please let the broken body of Christ be taken right now. Please go ahead and take the blood of the Lamb. Can I pray for you now? Please stay where you are. Don't touch the bottle. In 60 seconds, we're done. I'm done with this. Father, in the name that is above every other name, in the name of Jesus Christ, those who don't understand that when I use that I'm simply saying the name of Jesus is the name above every other name so in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare over you from today that you will begin to walk into me everything you do will succeed the curse is broken limits are removed barriers are taken away 
wherever you go, and whatever you do, I decree and declare you will succeed. You will prosper. You will excel. Your soul is delivered from death. Your soul today is delivered from death. Your eyes are delivered from seeing evil. Your feet are delivered from walking into evil. Your hands will not handle evil. Amen. Your ears will not hear evil. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the rod of the wicked will not rest upon you. Amen. Not upon your family. Amen. Not upon your loved ones. Amen. I bless every man today. Amen. And I bless every woman who cares about them. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Amen. our men will be prosperous. Amen. Every PP tribe member, every PP tribe man, you carry the favor that I've been enjoying for 31 years. I release a multiplied dimension Amen. of the favor I enjoy. Amen. Let it multiply on your life. Amen. You will begin to see more results than I have seen. Amen. Every man watching me now, I bless you with favor. Amen. That is what God has given me. I bless you with unusual favor. Amen. You will find favor in the city. Amen. Favor in the workplace. Amen. Favor with friends. Amen. Favor across the nations. Amen. Everywhere you turn, yes. the favor of God will speak for you. Amen. The favor of God will be your shield. Amen. It will be your buckler. Amen. It will be your defense. Amen. It will be your stay. The women watching saying, Pastor Sam, how about us? Every woman watching right now, I bless you with the wisdom that makes you stand out. Amen. The wisdom my wife has used to keep this home going and growing for the last 20 years, I decree in the name of Jesus, every woman watching me, may that wisdom, the wisdom of God, that our parents in the Lord have poured on us and our biological parents, I decree such wisdom multiplies on every woman. Amen. The kind of wisdom that helps you to build a house without pulling it down with your own hands. Such wisdom Amen. rests upon you. Amen. Prosper in everything you do. Amen. Prosper in raising your children. Amen. Prosper in building your family. Amen. Prosper in building your career. Amen. Prosper in taking care of yourself. Amen. You will never lack another day. Amen. Shame just lost control of your life. Amen. Reproach will never fellowship with you again. Amen. I bless the women Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And every woman believing God for conception, your womb is open. Amen. Receive seed from your husband Amen. and carry to full term. Amen. It is done. Amen. 